Hello and welcome to another Retro video. Today we're taking a closer look at two Sony Sports Walkmans. One is the WM-B52 cassette tape Walkman from 1988 and the other is the DSJ-15 compact disc Walkman from 2000. Sony started producing Walkmans in 1979 and are still producing Walkman branded items today in 2023. They don't actually make physical media Walkmans any longer, but they still produce digital MP3 style Walkman devices, continuing a long history of portable personal devices. I have here my own digital Walkman, which I use pretty much daily, just as a comparison to the two older portable devices. The first sports Walkman was produced in 1985. It was designed to be waterproof with rubber openings and waterproof controls. I do plan to test this waterproof claim on a future video, but it will be on a faulty unit just in case there's any issues. So first we're taking a look at the WM-B52 cassette Walkman. This particular unit is in great condition. It has a clip on the back, which would have been ideal to attach on a belt or top of trousers, shorts, whatever you had around your waist. The main buttons are covered with rubber and the earphone jacks are filled with rubber plugs. You'll notice two jacks on this one so two people can listen on independent earphones. This is actually quite rare on the sports models. There are some that have it, but there's quite a lot that don't. Opening the Walkman is done by unclipping the locking flap, which then allows the tape deck to be opened. Again, you can see a rubber seal around the main opening door. The cassette door opening also allows access to the battery compartment, meaning that it's all sealed inside, so if there's any water, it should be protected. The front cassette door has a solar alarm clock, which works independently from the main cassette player, so it doesn't require batteries to make it function in any way. I think this idea is a little bit weird to be honest, as you probably wouldn't hear the alarm if you were listening to music through the earphones. If it was combined, and you could hear the alarm through the earphones, that would make more sense. Here you can see I've hooked it up to my amplifier just to do a quick run through of the functions. As you can see it works great, not bad for a cassette player from 1988. So now on to the DSJ15 CD Walkman. Fast forward into 2000 from 1988, the CD platform is a dominant media for audio, but despite the media change, the Sony CD Sports Walkman is still made to carry out the same task. So from the outside, it is a lot less yellow than the cassette Walkman, which is a shame. I personally like the look of the yellow. I think it suits the sports branding. Again, it is designed to be waterproof just like the cassette unit. So opening the locking flap then allows opening of the main CD door, which then also gives access to the battery compartment. The audio jack is also filled with a rubber plug. So you can see the similarity between the two units, despite one being a cassette and one being a CD. Most people that had personal CD players back in the day will remember the awful shock protection. Sony has developed this system with G protection, which is made to have a quicker recovery response after shock. The shock protection is pretty impressive to be honest. You can see with this demonstration that it takes quite a beating to get it to skip. Here you will also see a quick run through of operation when connected to my amplifier. Both of these portable devices are great and would have been a great piece of technology in a day. If you still use cassettes or compact discs for audio, then I recommend these devices to you. Both would be happy as an exercise companion or sitting next to you at the beach. There's no dispute in the ease of digital Walkmans and their size, but you can't beat the nostalgic look and feel of these devices. There's just something about them that just looks great. Thanks again for watching the videos, it's appreciated. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.